Welcome back to another installment of McKenna Learns a Lesson. Y'all, excuse me, I am tired. But that's what the lesson I'm learning and we're going to talk about today. I apparently don't rest. I don't rest enough. What I'm learning, but what I've learned, is that it's way past just going to sleep. It's way past just going to sleep and making sure you get your six to eight hours a night. It's that time after you clock out and then that time. It's between that time after you clock out and go to bed is where apparently I'm not giving myself time. I do a, I, I'm a case manager, so I pour a lot of myself into my job to make sure that others are able to do for themselves and get on the right get on the right feed and get on that path of being better and don't get me wrong I, I like my job I love my job um but these past this past week I found myself wondering am I really being fulfilled am I really doing what I'm called to do am I really and I was start I was questioning a lot of things my supervisor who's a therapist and he uh therapized me asked me a simple question of what do I do for me I was like I mean you know and I had no words because I don't know what I do for me Oh, that's the hard part. I do a lot for everybody else. But I don't be, I'm not there for myself sometimes. Well, it's like 90% of the time I'm not there for myself. And I will give and give and give and then not give myself time to receive. But... I'm learning now that I'm important <laughs> and I can't, I can't give from an empty cup. I know we've heard it. You probably heard it several times, but you can, it's true. You can't pour from an empty cup. You can't pour from an empty pitcher. And I child, I was out here pouring from dust, just pouring from nothing. To the point where it made me question if I was even doing what I was supposed to be doing. If this is where I want to be. If this is the job for me. If this, I mean, I pray for this job. I ask for this job. It's in my field. I'm using my degree. Praise God. But I was just, I, I was putting too much of myself into it. And not giving enough time for myself. So, I I laid in my bed one night. I just could not go to sleep. And I just had a talk between me, myself, and God. We just had a little conference. I have to put me first. I have to start putting me first. Some people say that, and then they really just be trying to find an excuse for them to be rude to people. No, 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 no. I'm still going to be the same, the, the loving, caring, I got you kind of person. It's just... I'm making my as as much as as much emphasis I put on trying to make sure somebody else is better. I'm gonna start putting that same emphasis on myself, making sure I'm better, making sure I'm good. And it's crazy that 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 same day it was like the final day. I just oh, I was just I was done, and I forgot that I ordered this book. I had pre-ordered this book, and it came in the mail and everything. I forget, I didn't even open it. I forgot completely about it. But I was looking in my car for something, and I saw the box, and I was like, what? What? What, what package I ain't open? What package I ain't open? I opened it, and it was Michelle Williams. Who was that her name? Yeah, Michelle Williams. Yeah, Michelle Williams. You know, 
of Destiny Shop. And she has this book called The Daily Check-In. And it's a 60-day devotional journey, journal of like each day is just asking you about how your day was, how you're feeling, how you're doing. And when I when I opened the box and saw that's what it was, I was like, you know what, Lord? I hear you. That's been helping. Um, I ain't perfect, but it's getting better. It's getting better. So my encouragement to those that who may be watching, who find yourself sitting there questioning your job and the job you done prayed for and asked for, and you trying to, you know, you you probably just tired. You got to start asking yourself questions. Am I not sleeping enough? Am I eating enough? Am I drinking enough water? What am I doing for me? Am I putting enough time into me? Am I putting more time into my job and not that's that's way more than putting it into me? Like you said, so you gotta have that conversation. You're gonna have to have a conversation with you, yourself, and your and you. And um it's gonna be tough, but you you gotta have that conversation to figure out what it is that you need to do. And I'm gonna ask you the same question that my supervisor asked me. What do you do for you? All right, that's my time. I got a list of other stuff that I need to do for me. But until next time, y'all uh, drink your water, mind your business, and um, we'll see what I learned this week. Bye.